All right, this will be the last video today. We're gonna do Artie. Uh, Artie is, again, different than the other two. She's a lot more skittish. She's a lot more weirded out, but treat it just like the other dogs. Uh, I'm gonna use the vibrate of the collar on her and I'm not going to allow her to get skittish and pull away. When we first started this, Artie would just in terror because she was scared to death she would just try to pull in any direction low to the ground like she's just freaking out but now good girl we're starting to be pretty good buddies now Artie also she didn't even know sit so we've been working on that and just getting her to sit was a feat I literally had to hold her under her chin and start pushing down on her butt when I said sit until she finally would give in and put her butt on the ground. And then I just let go like everything was fine and we'd do that about 300 times. And finally she started understanding it. But uh, she would not take food or anything because she was so terrified. And so we just had to fight through her being scared. And uh, she was also the one when I got her I was even a little worried, a little uh, apprehensive about putting a leash on her because she would she would jump up at me and snap her teeth at me. But uh, now we're pretty good. Uh, I had to just stand in the kennel and let her throw a temper tantrum until she finally stopped and let me put a leash on her. But I was not going to back away and let her win that. And uh, so you cannot, if you have dogs like this, you cannot let them win those battles. And I'm not saying you got to beat them or anything like that, but you can't be the one to back away because as soon as you back away, they won. And it's not that they're trying to be that way. It's just that they're trying, they, they learn that if they act that way, you're the, and you're scaring them, you're going to back away. And so she just made that threat go away. But if I just by not even backing away, I literally stood inside the kennel with my hands in my pockets and not even looking at her and let her go through her temper tantrum until she stopped. And then I'd move in a little closer and if she started to show her teeth, then I would just say, no. And it, it just, it wouldn't, she, it wasn't working for her. So then her second option is to give in. And, uh, and I knew she was kind of bluffing because it was all out of fear. But anyway, we're gonna do this. You can see she's already starting to pull a little bit, but you're gonna see her body language is so much better. Artie, come. Good. Heel. Good. Heel. Good girl. We'll see if she can sit here. Artie, sit. Good girl. Good. So the other thing, kind of almost to my advantage with these really scared dogs, when they're like, stiff and shaking good girl when they're stiff and shaking they're very like hypersensitive to anything any little feeling so just the slightest vibration on that collar is enough to to snap her out of it almost and make her look around like what was that so i can use that collar to disrupt her fear and then the more she the more you can disrupt that fear and give them another path to go down they're eventually going to start choosing that path of least resistance where they're not where they're more comfortable good good
such a good girl. You're such a good girl. So I'll just go through it one last time because I know a lot of people watch all the videos one after the other and they probably get tired of hearing me repeat myself. But uh, for the, the first time you're watching or if the owner is watching, I'm doing the same thing. I'm holding the vibrate button in until she gets to where I want and then I let go. I'm not doing any, I'm not, and I'm saying heal so they can relate that vibration on their neck to a command. And it doesn't matter, you could say spaghetti, it does not matter to them what the word is, as long as spaghetti means come to my left. Um, but this is really her first time that I've had her out, and she's just standing calmly with me. Tail still tucked, but she's not panting, she's not buggy eyed, she's pretty calm, and that's what I want. Heel. Good girl. That was really good. Good girl. She's even taking some food now. Good girl. Wow. You can do it. Come on. Let's do it again. I'm actually a little bit amazed to be honest I did not think this was gonna go that smooth I was hoping she'd be the worst of them so you could see the difference but she's actually kind of the best one um, so again you I I've watched all the dog trainers on YouTube and there's a lot of really good ones there's a lot of really bad ones um, there's a lot of them that just fill you full of BS to try to sell, to make money. They might be good dog trainers, but they talk in ways that to make, to make themselves sound like a lot more uh, highly educated in dogs. No, nobody knows what a dog is thinking. Um, the, mo the only thing that, we, that I can do is I've been around dogs for a long time now. I don't know how many I've had. But I start, you start to really be able to read a dog's body language really well. So I can pretty much tell how a dog is going to be as soon as I see him get out of a car now. Also, I can tell how a dog is going to be by the way the owner interacts with them. If they let the dog kind of run the show, then I know the dog is going to be a brat. If, uh, they're, a little, if they're more firm with their dog, then I, their dog's probably going to be a little easier to train. Um, now with her... She is so scared of everything and a lot of people will tell you it's not good to use the remote collar on a really scared dog and I completely disagree with that because I use the remote so even if it scares the dog more the dog's going to want to start going somewhere to learn how to turn that off and eventually they're going to come toward me and I'm going to turn it off and I'll play that game for as long as it takes until the dog just wants to be by me because now it feels safe by me because by being by me, that scary vibration turned off. And look, she has never sat down next to me this long. Good girl. Where did you come from? Huh? Where did you come from, sweetie? All right.
on that note, hell, I'm, I'm kind of speechless on this one. All right, we'll see you on the next one. Toodles.